In the news this week, Mark McGowan's sweet revenge as Labor sweeps into power. Also in the news, a look back at Colin Barnett's legacy as Premier. This is the Evening News with Ivan Lung and Daniel Staniscoff. Good evening. After spending eight years in exile, the Labour Party is back. Leader Mark McGowan reaches the pinnacle of his political career by becoming the Premier after winning the state election. For the Liberal Party, Colin Barnett's defeat means more trouble for Malcolm Turnbull. WAMN News is out in full force on election night and Cassandra Elliott begins our coverage. Labour leader Mark McGowan, an overnight sensation, 23 years in the making. He has a political career spanning over two decades and on Saturday night he entered the history books as he was announced as the 30th Premier for WA. I love this place. It's done more for me than I can ever repay. I came, I, came, I came here 27 years ago in my Corolla across the Nullarbor. And today, and today the people of Western Australia have made me Premier. Labor leader Mark McGowan has just been announced as the 30th Premier for the state. Celebrations are in full swing here at Labor HQ and they're sure to keep going until he's sworn in. Today, West Australians voted for hope and opportunity over desperation and division. Yes. Today, we showed we are a state of decency and intelligence. Meanwhile, Colin Barnett addressed the state with his concession speech shortly after the announcement for Labor's win. Those Liberal members of Parliament who have lost their seat, uh, my heart goes out to you. Uh, in a campaign you put every effort into it uh, and to your families uh, and your staff and all those affected. Um, politics is a brutal, harsh business. Mr Barnett thanked his supporters and the public of WA for allowing him to be Premier for eight and a half years. He said the Liberal government was a government of integrity and that's something to be proud of. Cassandra Elliott, WAMN News. During Colin Barnett's reign as Premier and Liberal leader, WA has gone from the best economic performance state to higher unemployment and skyrocketing debt. But despite all odds, he still believed that he is the best man for the job. Nelson Liu looks back at Colin Barnett's successes and failures in office. He's seen his dreams for Western Australia realised, but now the dream is over. After eight years and two terms in government, Colin Barnett has initiated projects and policies that have seen the state grow and become his legacy as WA Premier. He's delivered on promises including Elizabeth Quay, the new Perth Stadium, building Fiona Stanley and Perth Children's Hospitals and the airport rail. But it's come at a price, high deficit and debt, soaring unemployment and the loss of the state's AAA credit rating with the end of the mining boom. With this election lost to Mark McGowan and the Labor Party, plans he had he didn't complete during his two terms will become broken promises. The Liberals' loss will make way for the new Labor Party plans for WA. I made some commitments, uh, some to myself and some I made publicly. Uh, the one I made to myself was that I would give it my best shot. Now maybe that wasn't good enough, but I assure you I have given it my best shot. Colin Barnett has claimed he achieved more than he imagined and he's thankful that he's had the opportunity. And now he walks away as WA Premier for the final time. Nelson Liu, WAMN News. This election is dramatic yet historic as it looks like the largest swing against an incumbent ruling party in West Australian politics. Andrew Fuster has the numbers. This election has seen a potentially record-breaking win for WA Labor and Mark McGowan in a swing larger than anyone predicted. With Labor gaining a swing of nearly 10% towards them, they look set to win 41 seats, including 20 new ones. The Liberals suffered a swing of close to 16%, down to 13 of the 31 seats previously held. The WA Nationals fared better, with a swing of just under 1% against them, losing two seats and retaining five. Although the upper house counting is still underway, the numbers look just as grim for the Coalition as well. I'm Andrew Fuster. The Police Commissioner Carlo Callahan has expressed that he is willing to remain as WA's top cop if the upcoming government wants him to stay. The 61-year-old Commissioner was expected to retire later this year when his contract was due to expire in August. In the past few months there are a number of contenders being considered to take up the position. However, Dr O'Callaghan stressed that he's eager to stay should not be seen as a lack of faith in other potential candidates. ABC's Managing Director Michelle Guthrie has warned that all programs and formats will be up for review following the recent announcements of further cuts to the public broadcaster. The ABC is set to undergo a major restructure of the organisation, including 200 job cuts in management, content roles and support services. The MEAA president is cautioned about the cuts. 
what does it mean when management is um, gutted? You know, and in a lot of cases it means experience and um, in the journalism game we're losing a, a great deal of, of um, experience um, in terms of um, people who simply have significant years in the industry. At least two people are dead after a demonstration showdown in Seoul following the impeachment of South Korea President Park won hee Angry crowds gathered outside the court as the judges upheld Parliament's decision of impeachment due to Ms Pak's role in the corruption scandal. She became the first president to be removed from office. She has lost legal immunity and may face charges. A national election will be held in the next 60 days following the court's ruling. And finally this week, historic Chinese stage drama The Empress of China will conclude its final international performance in Perth. The stage performance was based on the historic tale in Tang Dynasty, given that there were only two emperors ever ruled the land in China's history. The performance will be led by mainland China's television lead actress Liu Xiaoqing, along with other prominent stars. So Danny, this has certainly been a very interesting election campaign. Yes, it's been very hectic, but it's also been fun. <laughs> and those are the top stories you need to know this week. We have the latest news on our website and Facebook. See you next week. Good night. Mm -hmm.